Thanks to our own Dave Nobler for that report on the Dynamo uh, doing a little bit of bowling. And congratulations to Craig Weibel, who's also found another hidden talent. Joined now by Houston Dynamo goalkeeper Pat Ostad. Pat, thanks for taking the time oh, out no to join problem, us. No problem. All right, let's talk about Major League Soccer. We know this year, uh, with the inclusion of Juan Pablo on Hell, Guillermo Barros Scalotto, David Beckham, we've all of a sudden uh, jumped another level uh, with free kick specialists. Yeah, um, <laughs> What's your impression about these guys and what they brought, and, and do they take different free kicks? Well, I don't know if they take different free kicks. I think they're a little more accurate and a little more consistent with their play. I think uh, when you saw Christian Gomez came in uh, last year, I thought he uh, uh, raised the bar a little bit as well. But, uh, you know, there's still some good American guys who can hit him pretty well. You know, Ante Razov, Landon Donovan. So uh, we've got a few on our team with Brad Davis and Stuart Holden. So it's, uh, it's a good challenge for every goalkeeper in the league. All right. When you set your walls up, give us a, give the young goalkeepers out there a few basic tips on how to set a wall up and, and maybe the number of players you use in certain areas around the penalty area. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, as a general rule, I think if, uh, you know, the wall's going to be, you know, within a few yards of the top of the box, I won't go any more than four, uh, sometimes three. And at that stage, I always try to keep one body uh, outside the post. So there's, uh, if they're going to bend it around the wall, they're going to have to go a full body, which gives me a little bit more time to get around it. But uh, uh, there's no real science to it, I think. Um, when you come in the box, some guys like to put a guy in the line. They put five in the wall and a guy in the line. Uh, I, I tend to do that once in a while, but uh, uh, I'm starting to change my mind on that one as well. All right. Now, walls to me are, are, are built around the penalty area to eliminate possibility for these great free kick specialists. Um, so when I see walls jumping like I saw in uh, yeah. New York with L.A. and Juan Pablo Angel whacking one underneath the wall, uh, why are walls still doing that? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, it seems like, uh, I guess it start with, started with Ronaldinho when he did it last year, and then uh, uh, Juan Pablo on hell. I haven't seen too many go underneath. I, I think what you like is try to get your wall as tall as possible and make it difficult, but uh, the last thing you do want to do is expose that one underneath because there's lots of room at that stage. But uh, uh, I still like my wall to get up there, but at the same time, uh, I don't want them to jump higher than a ball, that's for sure. All right, when, when those four or five players are covering a portion of your goal, where are you positionally? Give us a little one-on-one -on -one here on goalkeeping in a wall because I think there's some confusion sometimes after you construct it where a goalkeeper stands. Yeah, well, it depends. I mean, there's, I think there's two schools of thought. I think a lot, uh, a lot of goalkeepers like to be outside the wall so they can have full vision of the ball and see it around. But uh, where that because, causes problems when the team puts two other players, uh, their attacking players, in the end of the wall, and, and now you're standing basically in the far post. It's an easy, it's an easy goal for a player. So. Um, I'll, I'll kind of try to see as much of the ball as I can, but often I'm, uh, I'm looking between the fourth and fifth guy and, and uh, trying to figure out, uh, you know, as much, see as much as I can and try to figure out where they're going. All right, one of the older goalkeepers in Major League Soccer, um, with age <laughs> comes wisdom in goal? I, I, I don't know. I think it helps. I think at times uh, uh, this year I've found myself making plays that uh, uh, it seemed almost simple, and then I watched on tape and go, that was a really good decision. But uh, at the same token, I think you, what you lose uh, or what you gain in age, you, you lose in athletic ability. and. Uh, I can tell I've uh, not necessarily slowed down, but I certainly don't have the spring in my legs like I used to, so I have to work pretty hard at that. All right, Pat, we appreciate your time. Thanks, Glenn. I appreciate it. That'll do it for another Dynamo Soccer Report. As always, we thank the Houston Dynamo players and staff for their cooperation. And remember, stay with us each and every week for the best in soccer coverage. We'll see you next Friday.